Chris Santos and Chai, and we're commentating on the grand final set. We're setting Smash Fest on uh, May second, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, May second. All right, so it's a rematch of Jackson versus Jackson versus G Man. G Man apparently three owed uh, at G. Yeah, in uh, losers finals, but now these two were the um, were against each other in winners finals, and we're uh, and uh, it was a very 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 close set. So uh, we'll see how it goes here. AJ starting off with ZSS this time instead of Sheik. Uh, that was the character he used to win the final match of the set after going Sheik four times. I think it might have been a really smart option on his choice because he feels like he really like that win was like. Up air to up air to up B is guaranteed if you hit the hit correctly on it. Oh, we saw him trying to do it, but he did an up B kind of after he whiffed the up air. Yeah. Wow, that was a really cool paralyzer and stage spike. Back air stage spike. Really cool gameplay by Jaxus. We might only have to commentate three games <laughs> if Jaxus continues playing like he is. We'll have to see. G-Man's definitely the one com- coming from the loser side who's got much more of an uphill battle. He's got to take two sets with him, just one. Oh, the surprise up B out of nowhere, and it had a lot of curvature to it. it I'm wondering now if he's using the custom set that he has been using most of this time. I think it is. It's just, that, again, that's hard to control, so. Oh, misses the grab and gets hit by the custom. Oh, God! He doesn't have yeah, the custom. So it isn't the custom. <laughs> That, uh, yeah, that was, like I said, that was a little bit too much curvature for that, uh, custom. <laughs> so, uh, G-Man's gonna have to find another way to kill now. Accidentally picking oh, the wrong no. set. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's really angry about forgetting about that. It's, and that would've been stock right there. That comment felt a little sarcastic. <laughs> but, yeah. Here we go. Um, G-Man's coming with a 67% deficit. He's gonna try to make it up with Diddy shenanigans. Down throws and aerials. Yeah. But ZSS, always very strong character. Can't get one up string on the com- uh, get one up string on you. One up air combo into an up That's your stock. Yep. But G-Man... And did he have to work a little bit more for his kills now than he used to? Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, a lot more, you're right. A little's not the right uh, qualifier there. Goes for a whip, goes that grab, and whips the punish. And up air, or forward air to punish that. Down smash. Oh! Almost read that right. Yeah. Weirdly, I actually felt that coming somehow in my bones. Slips in the banana field doesn't get doesn't get punished for it at all. Staying in shield on the platform, interesting. Very dis- especially against Diddy who has that flip option, that monkey flip. Hits banana or smash, but goes the other way. G Man's brought this game back. Yeah, definitely. Back air, stage control, let's see how Jackson tries to recover. Gets goes for the boost kick, covering a lot of options right there. He held down a pretty because if you hold down. He gets paralyzed, but it looks like back throw to flip kick isn't gonna work with G-Man DI's it properly at this percent. Very good air. And Jax is in the middle of the whip, he's punishing. using the custom whip, and there's the first game going to G-Man. Yeah, that's a good thing to point out. That custom whip has the really special property of drawing the character in if it hits if it hits them, but only the tip is an active hitbox. Everything else doesn't do anything. Right, and it cost a, it cost Jax's to set this time that that custom had that downfall to it. Just letting you guys know right now we might tag out though to go do a double game. Yep. Depending on how long this event takes. Oh, okay. And how long this takes. I think we'll just come in the whole thing, I think. We have a double scan machine to go through. We're not really going to do that yet. We'll figure it out. Alright, um, so the first game goes to G Man. Looking to get a bracket reset. This is still a best of five set, though, so he's got to get two more just to get himself into the actual final set. Yeah, yeah. He, has to, he has to win two more games so in a row. That was, this time he's actually picking his custom. Yes. That was, a, that was a really nice win on his part. Still got a lot of an uphill battle. Huge uphill climb. He has to win six games. Yeah. Where AJ only has to win three. Well, yeah. He only has to win five at this point, though. Yeah. He has five more games. You don't mind, though, that's three in a row. AJ could win, or Jackson could win two games, and uh, if GB resets it, he's also won another three after that. Yeah. Interesting that AJ going Sheik, or going CSS still. 
I think he knows he has the breathing room to even play. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's coming from the winter side, you might feel a little more comfortable sticking with the character, like, uh, sticking with the secondary. And his Zero Suit is honestly so good. It's Feels like it's his second main, basically. Yeah, yeah. All right. Very good down kick. flip kick right there. Yep. Goes for a grab and whiff it, but no wow, punish. Wow, uphill on the standard get up. That was an interesting exchange. That's the thing that you Very good down air. Uh, you don't see that too often from DSS, though. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Wow, really good spot dodge on the down smash. Really good punish for it, too. No uh, way! Oh wow, no misses opportunity to punish that with grab. It's interesting how even when the paralyzer is shielded, running up and dash grabbing is still an option for Zero Suit. I feel yeah. like I've seen that happen a lot. Uh, if you if your opponent doesn't spot dodge, or if you dash past them and do a reverse grab, if it grab basically, yep. it's like you just have to call your opponent basically. Yeah. Wow, did you see that? He fell out of the boost kick and then did an up air before the final hit of it. That was very good nair though. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, very good DI out of that. Yeah. I thought that was going to be slow. <laughs> but, DIing out of that correctly. A very good up air. Not going to kill it yet. Demon's trying to get back down to the ground. Oh! Hits him with the up B! And that custom is working out for him again. That custom is so strong. Yeah. So many people aren't expecting it. They're used to very different... They're very different play from Diddy, so... It's... it's the kind of uh, this is the, the kind of move they're, they're prepared for you to. Very good back air, keeping the game close. Yep. Not letting G Man get too much percent of a lead. Too much of a percent lead on it. Yeah, they still have that tiny lead though. 34 now. Up airs, up airs, up airs, up, up air. Oh, back, back airs, up. okay. Smash 4 being the game of up airs. Look at that, more up airs. Alright, that was an uphill. Ooh, very good down boot. Yeah, finally, uh, Jackson's managed to make it back down and get his footing. Very good grab. And we're seeing the up air string. But the last hit did not hit. hit yeah, G-Man just managed to fall out of it just in time. Wow, and did you see that? That was a, a really heavy pursuit from that flip kick, but G-Man just kept back the whole time. Very so good. Safely recovering. Good, good more forward smash punish. Not going to kill just yet. Yep. Oh, very good he missed his opportunity to punish that flip kick. He knew it was going to come in. He steps back, but he just let it land. Punishing every flip kick that AJ has done so far, except for the one. Oh uh, yeah, and that was how Edgy was doing so well against uh, Jaxus's uh, Zero Suit as well, if I remember. Yeah. I actually have two hits. Oh yeah. Oh, no, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Goes for the... Alright, well... Interesting, um, the no up This game has become really close now. Oh, he checked it! Yeah, he checked the stage. Spike that was potentially coming from that rocket barrel. This game is getting really, really close. Last hit. Next person to land an actual kill move is going to take this game. Yeah. Who's trying to get the paralyzer in? And oh, this game is the end. Game. Wow. Crazy finish. All right, going to game. Paralyzer three. set that up for him really well. Yeah. He knew exactly when and jumped, ran up and up beat. Yeah. Boost kick, very strong kill move. Yeah, that's when you see something like that, you just know that's a good zero suit. If he didn't tech that though. Um, yeah, and he didn't. He had a, that tech saved his life, literally. Because that would be if he didn't tech, he would have been stage by death. Or like if he wouldn't have hit the stage at all, he would have been, been dead yeah. because of it. Yeah. So him hitting the stage and knowing to spike it or te uh, tech it right there. All right, the and now we're back to one one in the first set of grand finals. Going to Pokemon Stadium two. PS two. Hey, AJ now going cheap. Switching to his true main. Getting very solid lead starting off. Yep. And it's always hard to catch up on Chief. Did he nair? That's something I see very much of. Yeah, I mentioned that last time when we were watching him. He, he actually uses it very well. Yeah. Interesting jab, jab, down, down tilt right there. Wow, and Jaxus is applying such safe pressure. Even when he hits shield, he's still landing far enough away to not get grabbed after. Forward is safe on shield if spaced correctly. Yeah, exactly. He's spacing it just right. Yeah. Right, but he's trying to get his footing in. G-Man isn't letting him do it until, until commentator's curse. Yeah, <laughs> Cursing G-Man right there a little bit. Commentator's curse is always an interesting thing. <laughs> you tend to see it no matter what. Yeah. Alright, that was a pretty cool nair. 
Oh, bouncing fish didn't seem to lead to anything good though. Now Jimmy has stage control. He's gonna leave that banana there. To, uh, Very good. Go down a lot of. Oh, wow. but Jaxus's recovery just coming out faster. Than yeah. Goes for the down throw. To oh no 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 punish there. Good back air. Both characters dealing with their sudden. Fall. And there's a st wow. I didn't even realize he still had a jump. I thought he had already used it. No, we still had a second jump right there. Yeah, that well that was this, really this great. part of the transformation is very floaty. Yep. Again, the stage I've never liked because of this. Interesting. I love this one stage. Oh! That was an insane kill. That was like, what, 20%? percent transformation. Yeah. You just took him to the top. What happens is you keep dragging him up so you can go for another up air, which keeps dragging them all the way up and exactly. kill G-Man out of the blast zone. Exactly. He, no, that was just an up air to up air, and because of the floatiness and the fact that he went so high on his first jump and, and that, that he had his second jump still. And then the, 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 the thing carrying him up more? Yeah, exactly. Killed G-Man so quickly, exactly. really getting two stocks. That was a really, really crazy, well-executed, amazing KO there. Yes. Uh, but I think they, uh, pretty G -Man convincing win by Jack. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. we're going to uh, game. Potentially the last game of the grand finals. Potentially, it's game four. Yeah. If Jaxus takes this, he wins the tournament. G-Man takes this. We're going to a game five. Yeah. And if he wins the next one, we're going to bracket yourself. So G-Man's got a lot of winning to do still. Yeah. Jaxus potentially needs to win this one. Potentially. All right. He's putting on really good pressure here. With all these forward airs. He's trying to be, trying to pull back with his uh, with some arrows of his own. Jack is staying just out of range and then putting his own pressure right back on. It's kind of how Sheik works though. Sheik's a really good poke character. Yeah. That was very a nice good jab, 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 jab to down tilt. To wow. Air. Yeah. Very good forward smash. Still a very close game right now. Just for the bouncing fish. Gets, ooh, does, they, I think the wind box saved him right there. Yeah, reads the vanish, but. Uh, wasn't close enough for this forward smash. She was trying to go Good for his kill set up there, but I think he didn't initiate the bounce fish in time. Yeah. Goes for the back air. Ooh, very good back air. <laughs> Catching him and all these air dodges right now. Yep. These needles very strong, it looks like, for him. But, jabs into that shield. There's no follow-up from the down throw, yeah. enough. Oh, Very wow. good jump before it's bad. Yeah, I just read that. Um, it wasn't a roll, but just that movement. Oh, that's wrong way! Yeah. throwing his banana in the wrong direction, but he picks it back up. It's bouncing it, fish, but not enough yeah. stock yet. Yeah, it DI's it pretty well. And uh, that also being from halfway from... Ooh, trades! Interesting. G AJ going this way, though. Yeah, that was not the direction you expected with the fly base in that trade. Or oh. gets the stock. Yep. Diddy's under rage. Very okay, high we, rage, 161. That's about as high as rage gets. Forget the upper end of rage limit, but I think it's like 190 or something. Maybe that's the car, yeah. At any rate, uh, Jax is just trying to find his tail and gets it with fair. But didn't take any damage to that stock. Yeah, so still very close. brings it back to just even. And now he's going to start his... Uh, Fair harassment. And he goes, G Man going for a safe, safe recovery there. Just let himself fall down and get the full height of his barrel. Jetpack. Now we're trading fairs and nares. It's kind of interesting to see. Very good up, uh, fourth throw to side bait. Yep, that's the kind of, uh, the bouncing fish works when opponents DI for fairs, and uh, fairs work when the opponents DI for bouncing fish. Yeah. So Sheik's down throw automatically starts a mix up. That is, uh, hard to win some Very good fair on G Man's part right now. Yep. AJ bouncing the bouncing fish the other way, realizing that he can't do that. Realizing he couldn't hit G-Man at that point with it. Yeah. Jax is playing this very safe, but is down right now. Oh! What? oh! oh! The barrel Whoa! came down and hit That him. was really unexpected. Those barrels. The banana force match the going to game five. Straight, the grand finals. The elements of that match. Wow. That was an RNG for the barrel. That, yeah, that was that was a win by RNG right there that just set up the kill for uh, G-Man. Yeah. I think even if you were in that game, you were just so blown away by what happened, it's hard to react. So, going to game five, potential bracket reset. Right potential now. bracket reset. If Jaxus... 2-2. Two, two. If Jaxus wins this one, he's going to... Um, win grands. And if, if G-Man wins it, he's got a, the bracket. Yeah, a really good set, shot at grands. Yeah. 
G-Man showing that that will be custom. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, these two faced already in uh, Winners Finals, and they went to the last game there, and Jax just took it in the yeah. finals set. He did go ZSS for the last game, though, too. That's true. He's been ZSS twice now. So he's probably staying with Sheik, I think, but we'll, Maybe. we'll see. Looks like he is. He's changing colors, though. He's going dark Sheik. He's getting real serious here. Yeah. Nope. Oh, he's <laughs> turned into this! That's okay. Never I think mind. we're going to Halberd. Yeah. We are going to Halberd. Our pretty good stage for Diddy. Yep. And CSS. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised we're going here considering how many times uh, G Man's let himself get taken off the top by Jaxus to set. Oh, well, I guess it was Jaxus. Very good spot on there on that. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, we might have seen it there, but G Man responded with his own up airs. It was very good. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Okay! <laughs> that was almost a self-destruct there. He had, he had already used up his uh, jump to get that combo, so... <laughs> it was close. I honestly thought that was going to be a stock right there. Yeah. I don't think he... Oh, tries to catch him in that, but does it a little too late, I think. Very good back air right there. Good support tilt. And... Just kind of footsies right now. Oh. Goes for it again, and... Nothing. Wasn't spaced quite right. G-Man was able to get out of that paralyzer fast. Going for lots of up airs right now. Yep. And... Another up air. G-Man's struggling to make it back down to the stage. Ooh, gets him on the Gets him on the shield. Ooh! Oh, oh, paralyzer! That was solid. That was really good. And at only 66, this is a good position for Zero Suit, for sure. Yeah. A lot of chance to build up a lot of damage before she loses her stock. Even a potential chance to get an up air string to death. Yeah. We're going on to the part where the stage likes to fight you. Yep. Oh! Oh, this is it! And that is Gan Finals, guys! Jaxus takes that with uh, some up strings. Halbert definitely worked out for him there in the yeah. game. And congratulations to Jaxus. He's going to be taking first place today at Salem Smash Fest. Yep, Grand Finals. Yep, Grand Finals. Congratulations, G Man. As well, second finals. place, very respectable. Yeah. Great player here. Good game to both.